Qatar announces a $100 million refugee vaccination initiative and a new COVID vaccination center opens up in the industrial area. Meanwhile, did Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman get duped for this painting? And finally, the holy month is upon us. Hello, it's Ali and here are today's headlines. Qatar's Red Crescent has announced a $100 million COVID-19 vaccination drive for refugees worldwide. The major move will see Qatar vaccinate more than 3 million refugees in several countries, from Afghanistan, Bangladesh and Yemen to a host of African nations. The Gulf state will partner up with the World Health Organization to help the world's most vulnerable. And speaking of vaccines, Qatar has opened a new COVID-19 inoculation center right here in Doha's industrial area. Located at the old medical commission facility, the center adds to 35 facilities that are already operating to protect the community nationwide. Gaining entry, however, is still by appointment only. The inauguration of the center today comes as figures show up to 30% of all eligible residents over the age of 16 have received the first dose. Now, a $450 million painting was purchased by Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman in 2017. The problem? The painting turned out to be a fake, according to a new French documentary. British media reports say MBS was in an anonymous bidding war, not knowing it was against the Emiratis who were planning to procure and gift the painting to the Saudi prince. Both sides thought Qatar was also in the bidding and continued to raise the price to ensure Doha would not get its hand on the painting. In reality, Qatar was not interested in the artwork at all. To make matters worse, MBS who won the bid found out that his new Leonardo da Vinci painting was a fake. He then pressured the Louvre to lie about the authenticity of the painting in order to avoid public humiliation, the documentary reveals. And finally, it's been confirmed. The crescent moon has appeared tonight, signaling the start of the holy month of Ramadan. We at Doha News wish you a blessed month ahead. Ramadan Mubarak. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.